Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Imagine a ship, not just any vessel, but one uniquely crafted to traverse ice-covered waters, creating safe passages for others in its wake. Known as icebreakers, these specialized ships, or in some cases, smaller boats, have a long-standing history, including their use on the United Kingdom's canals. Distinct from standard maritime vessels, Icebreakers boast three critical features. A robust hull. A design tailored for clearing ice. And the sheer power to forge through sea ice. These maritime vessels navigate frozen terrains by plowing straight into them. Surprisingly, ice typically fractures without significantly affecting the ship's balance. In situations where ice proves exceptionally thick, these ships can leverage their weight crushing ice beneath their formidable structure. Moreover, handling the accumulation of fragmented ice is crucial, as it can impede progress more than ice breaking itself. Therefore, these vessels feature a hull design that efficiently guides shattered ice away safeguarding essential components of their propulsion systems from damage. This capability to ascend onto ice, shatter it, and navigate through the remnants is not just a feat of engineering. It's vital for the ship's safe journey. In a pioneering endeavor, Arctech Helsinki Shipyard embarked on a groundbreaking project constructing Polaris, the world's first icebreaker powered by LNG, liquefied natural gas. This innovative vessel, destined for the challenging terrains of the Baltic region, marks a significant leap in maritime engineering. Polaris stands out not only for its unique fuel choice, but also for its adherence to the zero emission principle, a testament to modern environmental consciousness. The ship primarily operates on LNG, a cleaner alternative to traditional fuels, significantly reducing sulfur emissions. This shift to LNG, complemented by the use of low sulfur diesel, positions Polaris as a leader in eco-friendly maritime technology. Through this blend of advanced design and commitment to sustainability, Polaris sets a new standard in ice-breaking capabilities while prioritizing environmental protection. After delving into the revolutionary design and environmental stewardship exemplified by Polaris, Let's shift our focus to another significant milestone in icebreaker development. On February 7, 2017, a landmark partnership was forged between the U.S. and Canadian governments, a collaboration poised to propel the U.S. Coast Guard's heavy polar icebreaker acquisition program to new heights. This strategic alliance granted the U.S. access to Canada's prestigious National Research Council facilities in St. John's, New Finland. Here, the U.S. team can rigorously test and validate various design models 
for their next generation heavy polar icebreakers. This collaboration not only symbolizes international cooperation, but also underscores a shared commitment to advancing polar exploration and safety technologies. Having explored the collaborative efforts in testing icebreaker models, it's crucial to understand the larger role played by these giants of the sea especially the large ships operated by the Coast Guard. These vessels are not just about braving icy waters. They are vital cogs in the wheel of maritime commerce and safety. In many regions, especially those prone to heavy ice formations, a multitude of ships depend on icebreakers to forge a path through otherwise impassable routes. This reliance is not trivial. The inability of ships to navigate icy waters can lead to significant disruptions in transportation. Such interruptions directly and sometimes severely impact a nation's economy as they can halt the flow of essential goods and resources. Moreover, the role of icebreakers extends to ensuring smooth marine traffic, a critical factor for global trade efficiency. The absence or inadequacy of icebreaking capabilities can lead to maritime gridlocks, affecting not just individual countries, but the global economy at large. While recognizing the pivotal role of large Coast Guard ships in sustaining economic stability and facilitating marine traffic, it's equally essential to spotlight the sophisticated methods employed in navigating these icy terrains. A key element in this process is the meticulous survey of ice conditions. Conducted almost daily, these surveys are not limited to ship-based observations, but are significantly enhanced by helicopter patrols. From the skies, teams can gain a comprehensive view of the ice, identifying safe passages and potential hazards with a clarity unattainable from the sea level. This aerial advantage is further complemented by cutting-edge software, which plays a critical role in charting a course through the ice. Utilizing data collected from these helicopter surveys, skilled staff meticulously draw clear routes on the software, ensuring safe and efficient navigation through the treacherous icy waters. This fusion of aerial surveillance and technological innovation illustrates the advanced strategies in place to conquer the challenges posed by polar regions. From the detailed strategies for navigating icy waters, let's turn our attention to an exceptional member of the icebreaking fleet, the CCGS Vincent Massey. This vessel stands out in our armada, not just for its formidable icebreaking capabilities, 
but also for its distinctive features that set it apart from other icebreakers. Stretching an impressive 274 feet 7 inches in length with a beam of 59 feet 1 inch, Vincent Massey's robust hull and advanced design enable her to tackle the most challenging ice conditions. Her depth is molded at 27 feet 11 inches, and she sits 21 feet 4 inches deep in water at her design draft. However, fully loaded, she can reach a draft of 23 feet 8 inches, corresponding to a hefty displacement of 6,872 tons. Originally built to the stringent DNV Ice Class Ice 10 Icebreaker standards, her hull and propulsion system are set for an upgrade to Polar Class 4, enhancing her capabilities to the Arctic Class 2 level in Canadian service. The crew, initially 23, will be streamlined to 19, including 9 officers and 10 crew members, upon her commission by the Canadian Coast Guard. Under the hood, Vincent Massey boasts a powerhouse. Four medium-speed diesel engines connected to two controllable pitch propellers in nozzles. This includes two eight-cylinder Mach 8M32 and two six-cylinder Mach 6M32 diesel engines, yielding a combined 24,136 horsepower. This formidable power enables her to achieve a top speed of 16 knots in open water and continuously break one meter thick ice at three knots. Additionally, her maneuverability is enhanced by two bow thrusters, one fixed and one retractable, and a transverse stern thruster, crucial for the precise positioning and navigation in icy waters. Having explored the remarkable capabilities of vessels like the CCGS Vincent Massey, it's equally important to delve into the daily realities of life aboard these icebreakers and the relentless maintenance they demand in the harsh, frost-laden seas. Operating in such extreme conditions, these machines face constant challenges with maintenance being a crucial aspect of their ongoing operations. A striking example of this was an incident on the Coast Guard Cutter Polar Star, WAGB-10. While about 18 miles north of McMurdo Station, Antarctica, the crew faced a critical situation. One of the main shaft seals began leaking. Demonstrating resourcefulness and skill, the crew members swiftly addressed the issue. They utilized a hand pump air ram to dislodge a blockage in the shaft seal drain pipe and meticulously tighten the bolts around the seal to halt the leak. This was not the first time the shaft posed challenges. During Operation Deep Freeze 2018-2019, a similar leak occurred requiring the expertise of Coast Guard divers to perform underwater repairs on the 399-foot icebreaker. The Polar Star's crew 
participating in Operation Deep Freeze 2019-2020, showcases the resilience and ingenuity required to maintain these vessels, ensuring their vital role in breaking ice near McMurdo Station to escort, refuel, and resupply ships in these frozen frontiers. The U.S. Coast Guard Cutter Polar Star, WAGB-10, with its 159 crew members, recently accomplished a vital mission in Antarctica. This involved escorting three refuel and resupply vessels to McMurdo Station, Antarctica, and facilitating a comprehensive five-day inspection of foreign research stations. This mission marked Polar Star's 23rd journey to the continent as part of Operation Deep Freeze, a critical initiative to resupply U.S. Antarctic stations. During this 123-day deployment, which was the 63rd iteration of the operation, Polar Star traveled over 26,350 miles breaking through vast expanses of ice to create a navigable channel for essential supply operations. This year's operation was particularly challenging, requiring the construction of a modular pier for offloading due to the disintegration of the previous ice pier. It plays a crucial role in resupplying Antarctic stations and maintaining the U.S.'s presence in polar regions. This mission highlights the pressing need for expanding the U.S. ice-breaking fleet, as planned with the construction of new polar security cutters. Verify everything is operational, and then we're going to conduct... As we conclude this journey through the icy realms navigated by these remarkable icebreakers, we're reminded of the critical role they play, not just in maritime navigation, but also in global scientific and geopolitical endeavors. From the groundbreaking design of LNG-powered vessels, to the collaborative efforts in testing and maintaining these titans of the sea. Each aspect underscores the blend of innovation, resilience, and international cooperation that defines this field. The Polar Star's missions, symbolic of courage and dedication, highlight the ongoing need for advancing ice-breaking capabilities and the global commitment to peaceful scientific exploration. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.